Hello everybody, my name is Andy Ng and this is an introduction video to the Select Your Cars project. The Select Your Cars project is a project aimed to provide customizable full-stack apparel car samples. I'm excited to showcase this to you, so let's begin. So, I think a lot of you coming to this video already know about apparel cars, but for those who don't know, apparel cars is a um, sort of single sign or enterprise solution that, in my opinion, excels as having a lot of different component modules and uh, it's very popular. You see, 8.7k stars and used by many. So, Sell Your Cars is a sample project for apparel cars. And why do I want to build this project? Is that actually apparel CS is very, very powerful, but it's very daunting for starters. Why? Because there's a lot of different components as you can see here. And for those who just want to try out apparel cars and see whether the, the, the business needs can be fulfilled by this project, you need to at least think around a few days to configure a full stack or maybe a few weeks a full stack samples to play around with the, uh, the project. Well, it's, so this is not very ideal because um, the beginners will be scared away from this project. Um, what I want to do in this Select Your Cars project is actually to make that, to make uh, a use dockers, to make a full stack customizable um, um, sample so that you can just um, click a button or execute a command and then you have a, um, all the CES components or the customer, or the Redis, or the, or the tech cutting, or the, or the authentication protocol, everything set up for you, so you can just try it out very simply. So, um, this is basically the gist of this project. And so, currently, what's set your cars available is right here. Let me show you uh, the, the current diagram. So, for example, if you're the management your company, the management, wants to have a single sign-on solution and you want to try out cars, uh, maybe they want a, a different type of ticket registry, authentication, and actually storage. Um, you can try it out there, here. And perhaps they want uh, the ticket registry to be Redis. So you can use Redis. Uh, and you they want to use uh, LDAP technology for authentication. So you can try open LDAP and they want an attribute to use a uh, to be very dynamic so maybe you use a REST API to, um, to to give out some attributes and they want to try out every type of protocol because they want to support as many authentication uh, client as many clients as possible and uh, perhaps they want to see if a Java exists client is possible whether OAuth or RDC SAML is possible, so something like that, and 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 you can use Apparel, uh, you can just select your card and just speed up an instance, and it will contain all of these different type of technology, including the Redis themselves, the LDAP server themselves, the OpenEdit themselves, the REST server, and you can just interact with them and try out your samples. Okay. So enough talking about the architecture, let's go to the uh, show a demo. So um, if you go through the readme, it will be very clear what you need to do. But down after down the project, you need to first go to this called Gen My Cars HTML in uh, perhaps Chrome. I, I will, uh, the best browser to use this is on Chrome. So in this year, I will not explain in too much details, but Let's see what we want, and we can select it in the um, <coughs> select it in this file right here. So let's see. So for example, in the add authentication, so this one is to select what type of sample you want to use. So the authentication we want to use LDAP authentication. So open LDAP. Okay, you can see it's changing, and I want to use um, attribute storage. The rest is uh, is the sorry sorry about that is the rest so the rest attribute um, authentication attribute 
and then the CS protocol this one right here we want the Java and so yes Java CS protocol and then do we need other protocol like Java uh, OAuth ORDC yes we do we want SAML ORDC OAuth okay and then we after we enable the protocol we need the respective clients so for, for now we have some php client ready for us to test it out as you can see there's a lot more that i didn't show here but uh, yeah you can try out yourself and um, when you get the, uh, when you finish this video so uh finally we want the ticket registry to be read this okay so something like that and then yeah that's it and then you can see that i list a lot of documentation in the middle because each type of protocol each type of authentication they have their own um uh, different type of features and different type of configuration so i list them all out here so you can take a look and uh, a lot of time i will put the most important in the top so for example, we use the LDAP authentication, you can log in using open LDAP and Melon as the password and uh, so on and so forth. So after you read all the documentation, you can go to the deploy command section and just copy this one right here. And then go to your favorite terminals. For, for me, it's the, it's the Visual Studio Code, um, the terminal in the Visual Studio Code. And then I just paste it right here. And just press enter and then it will spin up everything for me like the reddit server LDAP, etc etc but because it's a demo uh, so i've already executed in another terminal right here so this is the one the exact same command that execute in here that execute in this terminal right here so the cs the car server the reddit everything is already set up so nice so you know how to generate your sample for example if you want to change a little bit i don't want to use uh, LDAP, i can also use a uh, mongodb for example you can just do it right here very easy to do and okay so because our cars is already up and running let's just go to see the um the basic login page So you can see that this is the basic login page right here and you have the username the password as you see right in this gem task html you can see that you have you can use open ldap and mailings for authentication so why not test this out right now so open ldap mailings login and you will see that it's definitely possible to use open LDAP and melon as a login uh, as username and password so the, the LDAP is working and let's just go for the all the features very quickly and make sure that everything is working and for example um, you want to go to the Java to the CAS protocol um, the sorry I always say CAS because is the correct terms the CAS protocol um using java so this one right here uh, because we only have the ldap authentication is only have one user so we, we can use the same one here open ldap and melon for login so as you can see after i log in it's very quickly show me that uh the, the user's login is open ldap okay, nice so uh the sales protocol is working how about the open id protocol okay it's not not have a link here because this is talking about the protocol themselves so you can just go down a little bit and you can see the client themselves so open id client let's go to the open id client okay i'll pause over here because if you remember that we just log in ourselves so if i go to this link here i should be automatically logged into open id as well so I do not should not need to uh, click additional button. Otherwise, I have to allow the authorization because of the ORDC uh, flow. After I click allow, you can see that 
the OpenID client is working and the same user OpenLDAP which we previously logged in can use this. Okay, so uh, all this is okay, let's try OAuth. So the same goes for OAuth. I need to click, uh, uh, I need to see that uh, is everything is working. You can see that everything is indeed working. Okay, so finally, let's just go to the same move, same one. Let's go to the same move. Okay, as you can see there, same move is also logged in successfully using the open LDAP and the, all the attributes are right there. So nice. So, uh, do you remember that we have used, also used REST as our authentication attribute? So you see right here, with the REST. So you can, we can go to check whether the attribute are, are shown. As you can see, the attribute are in this shown. The rest array attribute, rest username, which retrieve everything is set for the attribute. So it's very good. So you can see that all the features are working and you can. Okay, so we can see that everything is working. But wait, we haven't tried out the ticket registry is using Redis, but why Redis? Was Redis profile at high redundancy so even if the server are down, they can still operate. So uh, can we try out here? Of course we can because it's using Dockers and Docker Compose. So we can just shut down both the cars servers, which you can see here actually we scale the two uh, scale the server to two server. We can shut it both down and put it back up and it should still be logged in. So let's go to this one right here and just log in with open LDAP. So now we are at the so now we are we are logged in. So theoretically if we go to shut it down I docker stop CS server one and two and just um stop both server and start them both up later now like so the ticket should still be remain because our redis server is the one stolen ticket so users still should be logged in so for now the server is um by now the, the um the car server is down, but the ticket is still stored in Redis. So let me fast forward and show you uh, uh, whether or not the user are still logged in after the ticket, after the server are restarted. Okay, I've grabbed my, uh, my cup of uh, warm water. And now, as you can see in the logs, the both servers should be ready now. So if I re uh, refresh this page, I should still be logged in. Let's see, is that true or not? Yeah, you see? So the user are still logged in with the open LDAP users. So the ticket registry read this did work and make the project high redundancy. Okay, so now we have demonstrated everything, the ticket registry, the attribute, authentication, the protocols. Uh, I, I want to show you one last thing, which is actually the more important things, is that how you can uh, modify it to suit your needs. So, for example, I say, okay, the Redis uh, repository, I want to uh, change the password, or change the host, and see if this works or not. You can do it very easily and you can find the path to the, the folder fairly easy because they are descriptive but if not you can see that you can see it is here source tickets registry redis and doc compose doc yaml so this is what make the redis ticket registry works and if you go to the folder and uh, go to the project you can see source um ticket registry Okay, Redis Docker Compose. So this Docker Compose right here is what make Redis ticket registry works. 
and um, you can see the Docker image we use the version, and you can see that actually uh, we have flow in like a, a demo a CAS a cast demo file a build Gradle file, and you can look at them and change them and see what make a Redis ticket registry works. So same go for like Hazel cars. You can go Hazel cars and you see okay the C the cars YAML how I configure it, and you can see for example the cars um. The cast client, the Java cast, can see how I make this client works, or the Docker file, the, 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 the files that make it works. And you can modify them or just sample them and put it in your own project. So this is, I think, the best way for you to start off as a beginner. It's a working example and just add on to it and, and harden it and so on and so forth. So that's all for this demo and this video. Uh, before it's end, I want to um, thank you for watching. And also, if you have any suggestion on this project or you have any comment, please uh, leave them down to below or just go to the GitHub. And, and that's it for this video. So hopefully you enjoy it and bye bye.